There's always something that starts a tradition that makes people want to come back year after year and continue on in a legacy. For us and my group of friends, it's the wild turkey. Now, I wouldn't consider myself a bird hunter by any means, but the wild turkey, now that's a cool bird. No other game bird has had more of an impact on the combined cultures of the inhabitants of North America than the wild turkey. The species directly influenced the lifestyles of Native Americans as well as immigrants and their descendants. Benjamin Franklin believed that the wild turkey should have been our national bird. Although the wild turkey was once found only in isolated pockets in inaccessible areas, populations now occupy more square miles of habitat than any other game bird in North America. The restoration is truly a modern conservation marvel that is a credit to the wild turkey's adaptability to a variety of climates and habitat conditions. Wild turkeys were nearly wiped out by hunting in the 1930s, when there were only about 30,000 in the wild. Due to conservation efforts from conservation organizations such as the National Wild Turkey Federation, turkey numbers have rebounded and are estimated to be more than 7 million today. The wild turkey occupies more than half of the United States and parts of Mexico. The gobble, strut, and impressive plumage that it carries, and beard of the male, brings attention to this remarkable species. A turkey has between five and 6,000 feathers covering its body. Most of the feathers of a turkey are iridescent with varying colors such as red, bronze, gold, and green. The mating season for turkeys occurs in the months of March and April. Males will attract females by strutting. When they strut, they will fan out their tail feathers while dragging their wings on the ground, throwing their head back and taking very quick, rapid steps. For the past 11 years, experiencing these magical moments is what's led me back to this place and inspired me to share it with others. Wall Tent Turkey Camp became a tradition. I, I love the turkey hunt. I know turkey hunting is probably not as prominent in the West as it is where I come from in the South and in the Midwest. It's turkey hunting is like a religion for us. I mean, our turkey season's like elk season out here in the West. I mean, everybody just can't wait for that first morning of turkey season. So Jason was talking about a place that he had turkey hunted off and on for his whole life. And we just decided to do a trip. So the first year it was just me and Jason in a wall tent. And we ended up snowed in for like three days in the wall tent. We didn't even really get to hunt, but two days, uh, the weather got really bad, but I kind of fell in love with this place and just the fact that we were in the back country in wall tents hunting turkeys. That was the coolest thing ever for a guy like me who I consider myself a pretty avid turkey hunter. <laughs> to be here with some of your closest friends and just share camp and do something we all love to do. That's that's probably the, the coolest part about being up here. When I first started hunting here in the 1990s, I wasn't looking for turkeys. I was actually hunting elk. 
I'll never forget it either. It was like discovering a lost treasure or something. Not long after, the NWTF stepped in and put a lot of work back into the habitat and making sure the turkeys had what they needed. The first time we actually came here to hunt turkeys, I was with my father and his friends George and Junior. In two days, we killed three turkeys. It's a special place, and a special place to hunt turkeys. This is the kind of hunt where the camaraderie is way more valuable than the hunt itself. Everybody loves chasing turkeys and, and it's a fun hunt, but it, this is truly uh, an opportunity for us to get together with some of our best friends, uh, people who love the outdoors and hunting as much as we do. Plus it's so off the grid that it's a special time to sort of you know, get rid of that cabin fever we all have from the harsh winter, get out into mother nature, be in the back country with friends. I'll tell you what, this, uh, this place is a, has a special place in my heart and I love coming back uh, every year. I'm a lifetime member of the National Wild Turkey Federation because I strongly believe in the way they carry out their missions to save the habitat and save the hunt. I look so forward to getting back at camp and sharing stories. Uh, it, it throw everything you know about conventional turkey hunting out the window and all of our stories are absolutely hilarious when we sit around the campfire at night and it means a lot to be able to get together on an annual basis to you know roam these gorgeous public lands that we have here in Montana and, and just to be able to share in our passion for the great outdoors. I don't hunt turkeys all over, like some people, but what I do know is this is not a normal turkey hunt. They don't come to decoys. They hardly come to calls. It's tough, but it's always worth it. Hunting spots are hard to find, but they're meant to be shared. I think my favorite part about turkey camp has to be the food. You know, being um, out here in the middle of nowhere, it's pretty cool to, to have people bring elk and deer and antelope and sit around the campfire and, and hear about all the stories from the past fall. It just makes for a really cool experience. We hit the call and, and birds just hammered. And let me tell you, ever since that day, it was. I have had so many close encounters, so many great hunts that it's hard for me to, to sift through them all and pick any one out. Through the years, we've told a lot of stories around this campfire. And as long as there's the wild turkey, we're going to tell a lot more.